Notts County Talk, it's finishing the FA Trophy at Medellin. Well, full time was Ma uh, Maidstone 2, Notts 2, and then we've lost on penalties, what was it, 5 4, 6 5, something like that. Um, disappointing to go out of the trophy for me. I don't know what you think about it, George. For me, what a chance to actually lift a trophy, go to Wembley. <clears throat> I know some people were saying they didn't want really to to get any further, but Eastley have got through anyway. The game would have been rearranged mm. anyway, so for me, I'm really disappointed. Don't know about you. Uh, yeah, I think there's, there's definitely pros and cons to it, isn't there? I think the pros obviously are now we can focus on the league. Uh, I know it's a massive cliche, that is, isn't it? Um, you know, some of the youth players have got out there today and they look quite good. I thought that was a good positive from today. Um, but I think it does show you that there's a few players that you might be wondering why they're not playing as much, aren't playing as much, because that first half was dull, really dull. It was a, a really... I don't know, it's just hard to watch at, at times. It was just really slow. It, it, it just... We couldn't get anything, any rhythm going. Um, second half started pretty similar, but I think in the last 25 minutes we played really well. Uh, we had chances to really go on and win the game, in my opinion. We, we, had an, we created enough chances to, to win the game. Um, <coughs> uh, I think it's, like I say, pros and cons. I think it's good to see everyone take a few penalties as well. See who's, uh, to be fair, Matty Palmer was the one that missed the penalty. I was surprised at that because I, I, I was backing him to score it, to be honest. Um, yeah, that, that's generally how I'm feeling about that. Yeah, for me, uh, I'll go for the positives. Positives is we get Cissé and Gill on the pitch. I thought Cissé was really, really positive, took his man on, who we saw Aaron and Man had a few uh, troubles against, did beat him a few times, but for Cissé to come on against someone that's like almost twice his size, twice his strength, really big fullback for them. Um, beat him on a couple of occasions, put some good balls in, was really, really positive. Um, and then Gill, I don't know if we'll see it, on some kind of highlights or something, but the way he turns two of their midfielders in the middle is is some of the best skill I've seen all season. Does really really well. Um, but other than that, you know, I know it's a trophy game, and I know you might say, "Oh, cheer up, we're top of the league," but it wasn't very good. Yeah. On the whole, it really wasn't very good. I know there wasn't a, a capacity crowd that we normally have here of what seven thousand. There's sort of two thousand here, two and a half thousand today. Good travel for the Maidstone fans, but really. I don't want to be doing moving. It wasn't very good again, and you've already used the word. It was very, very slow, yeah. and until we needed it to be quick. Yeah, and okay, it's, it's good to get players, and it's good to have a manager that's got the like the, the balls to sort of play these youth players because we've not seen it in in the in the capacity that we've seen it this season under any manager while we've been in the national league. Well, for the past few years, um, so it's good to see that. But. You know, the performance in itself, it, it was disappointing for a large margin of the game. Like I said, the last 20, 25 minutes maybe was better. Probably should go on to win the game. Um, but it, it doesn't give you heaps of confidence when we've got a massive game on Saturday in Chesterfield, does it? No, if we play that, that slowly again against Chesterfield, which I don't think we'll be able to because they'll be all over us, then we're going to have issues, I think. Um, I hope, I said to you, and this isn't a definite, I, I'm, I'm sort of throwing things out there, I hope we've not been found out because... A lot of our last results, certainly our draws, you know, our Boreham Woods, our Oldham's teams have just sat there. Maidstone sat there and hit us on the break. What is worrying me now, and ah, it's his first game for us, um, Mayor in goal. But, you know, he's given away a penalty. Uh, it wasn't 100% his fault, but another goalkeeping error. A very good finish there, second. But d that's got to be cut out. It, it, and playing out from the back in this division uh, has its pros, has its cons. But look, what is that now? Five, six mistakes from trying to play out from the back with the keeper? Yeah, we were saying that won't be in the stand uh, where it's, it's probably led to goals. I'm, I'm going to say maybe four goals, maybe five this season where it's, it's come directly from a, a keeping mistake. It's got to be cut out, hasn't it? It's got to be cut out because essentially it's costing us. And, you know, it's fine margins where, when we're playing the way we're playing. Um, you know, we, we drop a goal in here and there. It's literally the, the difference between being first and being second because it's relentless. It really is relentless. So we, I don't know where it's got to come from, if it's got to come from... Maybe it's something from the staff, the players, you know, it's, it's got to come from some, maybe a, it's got to be a collaboration, hasn't it, I suppose, but something's got to change because it, it, it's a recurring error. Uh, and someone turned around to us that was in front of us and says, uh, that's our Achilles heel, that is, isn't it? But it, it shouldn't be an Achilles heel. Um, I know there's probably a lot of pressure put on playing the ball out from the back and not hoofing it long. Uh, but in moments like that, you've got to make the decision for me to either make a pass that might be a bit risky or to hoof it clear. Because it's better to hoof it clear and then r decrease your chances of you know, losing possession there than losing your possession just outside your 18-yard box. Because you know, essentially we've seen today at least to a goal. Yeah, um, Mayor, as well, I do feel for him, he did save a penalty. Towards the end, he was off his line. 
Yeah. Uh, it would have been great for him to like redeem himself and save a, a crucial penalty, and then Matty Palmer could maybe have tucked away and won. Um, so I do feel for me in that sense if it was the right decision from the referee, uh, well, the linesman who, who said he was off his line. That I'll reserve judgment for after the Solihull game uh, in what? What's that? Ten days' time, something like that. Uh, nine days' time. Mm. I'll see how we are then. You know, Boreham Wood, they're a bogey team for us. They always do well against us. Um, and this, we had we had quite a few players. We had five real first-team starters in there. We had rotation. We had youth players come in. So my, my judgment on, on how we're doing will be completely reserved for after Solihull. So that Chesterfield game, massive, and the Solihull game, massive. We'll see where we are then. Um, they're my thoughts. Anything you're going to add to that? Yeah, I agree. I think that this is really the first time we've seen a bit of a dip in form, isn't it? We've seen some real positive, aggressive play. We've not some where we've been dominating and we've been looking like scoring four or five more goals. Um, but we've not seen that over the last few weeks, uh, which is a bit concerning. But I'd much prefer to lose in a game like this and have a performance like that and have time to fix it than it be in the league. So, that, yeah. yeah, that's me, really. 100%. Uh, there are thoughts on this FA Trophy defeat. would have been nice to get a trophy, but as George said, there are positives to that as well. Uh, a bit of a rest on that game. I think it's Feb or March that we get the rest in the Easter game. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment anything you thought if you were here or you listened, and subscribe to the channel.